Hello, you are on channel Real Books, and today we'll talk about how to write a perfect narrative essay and what it is. So, a narrative essay tells a story. In most cases, this is a story about a personal experience you had. This type of essay, along with a descriptive essay, allows you to get personal and creative, unlike most academic writing. Narrative essays test your ability to express your experiences in a creative and compelling way and to follow an appropriate narrative structure. They are often assigned in high school or in composition classes at university. You can also use these techniques when writing a personal statement for an application. So what is a narrative essay for? When assigned a narrative essay, you might find yourself wondering, why does my teacher want to hear this story? Topics for narrative essays can range from the important to the trivial. Usually the point is not so much the story itself, but the way you tell it. A narrative essay is a way of testing your ability to tell a story in a clear and interesting way. You're expected to think about where your story begins and ends, and how to convey it with eye-catching language and a satisfying pace. These skills are quite different from those needed for formal academic writing. For instance, in a narrative essay, the use of the first person, I, is encouraged, as is the use of figurative language, dialogue and suspense. How to choose a topic? Narrative essay assignments vary widely in the amount of direction you're given about your topic. You may be assigned quite a specific topic or choice of topics to work with. And here are some specific prompts. Write a story about your first day of school. Write a story about your favourite holiday destination. You may also be given prompts that leave you a much wider choice of topic. For example, open-ended prompts. Write about an experience where you learn something about yourself. Write about an achievement you are proud of. What did you accomplish and how? In these cases, you might have to think harder to decide what story you want to tell. The best kind of story for a narrative essay is one you can use to talk about a particular theme or lesson or that takes a surprising turn somewhere along the way. For example, a trip where everything went according to plan makes for a less interesting story than one where something unexpected happened that you then had to respond to. Choose an experience that might surprise the reader or teach them something. What about narrative essays in college applications? So when applying for a college, you might be asked to write a narrative essay that expresses something about your personal qualities. Recount a time when you faced a challenge, setback or failure. How did it affect you and what did you learn from the experience? In this context, choose a story that is not only interesting but also expresses the qualities the prompt is looking for. Here, resilience and the ability to learn from failure. And train the story in a way that emphasizes these qualities. Now, we'll provide you with an example of a good narrative essay. Hover over different parts of the text to see how the structure works. So, here it is. Since elementary school, I have always favoured subjects like science and math over the humanities. My instinct was always to think of these subjects as more solid and serious than classes like English. If there was no right answer, I thought, why bother? But recently, I had an experience that taught me my academic interests are more flexible than I had thought. I took my first philosophy class. Before I entered the classroom, I was skeptical. I waited outside with the other students and wondered what exactly philosophy would involve. I really had no idea. I imagined something pretty abstract. Long, stilted conversations pondering the meaning of life. But what I got was something quite different. A young man in jeans, Mr. Jones, but you can call me Rob, was far from the white head, buttoned up and old man I had half expected. And rather than pulling us into pedantic arguments about obscure philosophical points, Rob engaged us on our level. To talk free will, we looked at our own choices. To talk about ethics, we looked at dilemmas we had faced ourselves. By the end of class, I discovered that questions with no right answer can turn out to be the most interesting ones. The experience has taught me to look at things a little more philosophically, and not just because it was a philosophy class. I learned that if I let go of my preconceptions, I can actually get a lot out of subjects I was previously dismissive of. The class taught me, in more ways than one, to look at things with an open mind. 
So we can note that the concluding paragraph expresses what the author learned from the experience in an appealing way. The first sentence plays with the meaning of the words philosophically, while the final sentence closes the essay with a memorable statement. So now you know how to write a perfect narrative essay. Goodbye.